Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the nah, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Please, no! No, have money, but, but I have this. It's, it's good, it's good, it's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. 
Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. What you got behind there? So, sorry, Move aside. Zusakom nie można. I'm a kind of dash. Don't even speak English. What do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie. Okay, that should about cover things. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. Seamus and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Perspective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. The 
That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So how long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Well, I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No. I think we've learned our lesson there, and a few other lessons besides. I hope so, but I ain't so sure about that. So, here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and such like. Good luck charms. What, like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Don't they all? Oh, ye of little faith. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. <laughs> find any other coaches that need selling. I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. 
Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Sir, I'm... I'll... Really? You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him and took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. You're very purdy. I'm sorry, I'm not being forward or nothing, but you are. And you're very sweet. Strange and horrible and an O'Driscoll, but sweet. I'm not an O'Driscoll, miss. Okay, well, whatever you say. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. <laughs> 